Deep beneath the surface of Geneva, something truly extraordinary, yet potentially dangerous, sits, the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. This colossal machine is a marvel of modern science, capable of peering into the tiniest parts of the universe. It has already helped scientists make groundbreaking discoveries, like the Higgs boson, often known as the Higgs or the God particle. The boson was a significant find, filling in gaps in our understanding of how the universe operates. But as exciting as this achievement is, there are concerns about what we might be unlocking in the pursuit of knowledge. As physicist Brian Cox once suggested, something hidden has been discovered at CERN, sparking both curiosity and fear. Could we be venturing down a dangerous road, probing realms we don't fully understand? Before we delve into these worries, let's first look at what the LHC is and how it works. CERN runs the LHC, a massive 17-mile ring of magnets that forms the largest and most powerful particle accelerator in existence. Its scale and capabilities are awe-inspiring, allowing scientists to recreate the energy conditions similar to those present at the birth of the universe by smashing protons together at incredibly high speeds. The LHC mimics the conditions of the Big Bang, enabling researchers to probe the fundamental building blocks of the cosmos. With temperatures soaring millions of times hotter than the sun, and cooling systems keeping things colder than space, the LHC achieves feats that once seemed impossible. The LHC's intricate setup is a testament to human ingenuity. Inside, there are over 1,200 magnets guiding the protons and another 392 focusing magnets directing them to their collision points. Think of trying to collide two particles that are six miles apart, that requires an astonishing level of accuracy and technology. The accelerator is buried underground, shielding the world from harmful radiation, and is kept at a chilling temperature of minus 460 degrees Fahrenheit. As the particles crash into each other, detectors like ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB record the data, capturing crucial insights into the nature of matter and the universe itself. The Higgs boson, for instance, could help us understand how mass is distributed across the universe, offering a glimpse into the very structure of everything around us. However, while the LHC is an incredible tool for unraveling the mysteries of the universe, its immense power raises some unsettling questions. As we peer deeper into the unknown, we must ask, are we prepared for what we might find? Could we be inadvertently unlocking forces we don't fully comprehend? Some have raised the concern that, in our attempts to mimic the Big Bang, we might be opening a Pandora's box of unforeseen consequences. Recent comments by Brian Cox have intensified these worries. He explained that by recreating the extreme conditions of the early universe, the LHC could lead to unexpected, even dangerous, results. The collider, after all, doesn't just explore the Higgs boson and other known particles. It also delves into dark matter, which accounts for a large portion of the universe's unseen mass. But dark matter, as the name suggests, remains elusive. Its properties and composition are still a mystery. The LHC could be our best chance at unraveling its secrets, but this could also bring unforeseen risks. The collider's extreme conditions, akin to those that existed at the very birth of the universe, come with dangers that must not be ignored. Scientists have even speculated that the collider could inadvertently create tiny spheres of black holes, powered by the potential of quantum physics to warp space and time. This concept has attracted the attention of prominent scientists like Stephen Hawking, who warned that high-energy experiments at the LHC could lead to vacuum decay, a catastrophic event that could unravel space and time itself, with consequences potentially as dire as the destruction of Earth. Sir Martin Rees, a leading cosmologist, echoed these worries, implying that such instability in the vacuum could have disastrous effects. CERN, of course, insists that any black holes created by the LHC would be short-lived and harmless. Still, the notion that we might accidentally create something as dangerous as a black hole, even a minuscule one, has made the scientific community more cautious. Despite these warnings, it's essential to acknowledge that the risks, while real, are incredibly low. CERN has established safety protocols to mitigate these dangers. However, no amount of preparation can completely eliminate the inherent uncertainty of pushing the boundaries of scientific exploration. As we delve deeper into the fabric of reality, we must weigh the potential risks against the knowledge we hope to gain. The LHC is a tool with immense power, as much about the human drive for discovery as it is about scientific progress. It demonstrates our relentless desire to understand the cosmos, but it also highlights the responsibility that comes with such power. Beyond the existential risks, the LHC's effects reach into various realms of knowledge and technology. With over 10,000 scientists, engineers, and technicians working on this colossal project, the collaboration spans the globe. 
the data generated by the LHC is so vast that it has revolutionized computing, requiring new methods of data storage and analysis. But the implications of the LHC go far beyond particle physics. The research conducted at CERN has far-reaching effects on fields such as medicine, material science, and environmental studies. For example, understanding the Higgs boson better could lead to the development of entirely new materials or technologies. Similarly, the LHC's work on dark matter may one day uncover hidden aspects of the universe, fundamentally changing our understanding of spacetime and physics itself. At the same time, the LHC's work with concepts like supersymmetry and extra dimensions could radically reshape our comprehension of the fundamental forces of nature. Supersymmetry, a theory that links two types of particles, bosons and fermions, predicts the existence of superpartners that have yet to be discovered. Should the LHC find evidence of these particles, it could offer a new framework for understanding the universe. The LHC's research also has profound implications for the future of computing, especially in the realm of quantum computing. By revealing how particles interact at a quantum level, the LHC is paving the way for technologies that could one day revolutionize how we process information. Yet as we stand on the brink of these monumental discoveries, we must also confront the ethical questions that arise. While the pursuit of knowledge is thrilling, it comes with the responsibility to ensure that this newfound understanding is used wisely. The potential applications of LHC research are vast, but so are the risks, from developing advanced weapons to creating technologies we cannot control. This raises an important ethical dilemma, how do we ensure that these discoveries are used for the benefit of humanity and not to cause harm? International cooperation and transparency are key to addressing this challenge, ensuring that the knowledge gained through the LHC is shared and utilized judiciously. The LHC also raises significant concerns about the environmental impact of such powerful technology. With its enormous energy requirements, the LHC places a considerable strain on resources and ecosystems. Not just a tool of science, but a symbol of the human condition, our insatiable curiosity, our capacity for innovation, and our struggle with responsibility. The LHC challenges us to think beyond equations and collisions. It forces us to ask, what kind of future are we building with the knowledge we gain? Are we unlocking the secrets of the universe to benefit all, or are we laying the groundwork for unintended consequences we may not be able to control? As we peer deeper into the quantum world, where particles flicker in and out of existence and space-time can warp under immense forces, we are also peering into a mirror that reflects our own nature. The unknown has always been a place of both wonder and fear. From the first time humans looked up at the stars and wondered what lies beyond, to smashing particles at nearly the speed of light, our journey has always been one of risk and reward. With every proton collision, with every stream of data, the LHC doesn't just challenge the laws of physics, it challenges the moral fabric of our civilization. How do we ensure that breakthroughs in quantum physics don't remain locked in academic silos or become tools of domination? How do we protect the sanctity of this knowledge while encouraging innovation? Perhaps most importantly, how do we teach the next generation of scientists, policymakers, and citizens to steward this power wisely? The Large Hadron Collider, in all its cold, metallic complexity, embodies a very human truth, that the pursuit of knowledge is never neutral. It carries with it the weight of choice, intention, and consequence. It is not merely a machine, it is a fork in the road, and the direction we take from here will define not only the future of science but the future of our world. So as the LHC continues to probe the deepest recesses of the universe, may we also turn that same intensity inward examining our motives, our ethics, and our vision for what comes next. The stars may lie far beyond our reach, but the responsibility for how we use this knowledge lies squarely in our hands. Because in the end, what we discover out there may not be as important as what it reveals about us. Scientific advancement is not just a symbol of progress, but also of the complexities and ethical dilemmas we face in our quest for greater understanding. The knowledge it provides has the potential to reshape our view of the universe but it also forces us to ask critical questions about the consequences of such knowledge. How do we responsibly harness this power? How do we make sure that the findings made at the LHC are used for the betterment of all, and not for destructive or selfish purposes? There is a fundamental tension between the excitement of discovery and the fear of the unknown. Each new breakthrough brings with it new possibilities, but also new risks. With each proton collision at the LHC, we uncover more about the fundamental forces of nature, the origins of the universe, and the nature of dark matter. Yet, we are also confronted with the possibility that the very act of investigating these mysteries could lead to unforeseen consequences, the creation of miniature black holes, 
the destabilization of the vacuum of space, or the development of technologies that could be misused. All of these are potential outcomes that we cannot fully predict or control. The reality is that the LHC, and the field of particle physics as a whole, is at the frontier of human knowledge. We are peering into the deepest recesses of the universe, asking questions that have never been asked before, and attempting to understand forces and phenomena once thought to be beyond human comprehension. In this pursuit, we are venturing into a realm where the boundaries between science, philosophy, and ethics blur. It's no longer just about understanding the mechanics of the universe, it's about grappling with the responsibility that comes with this new understanding. What makes this journey even more challenging is that science often moves faster than society can keep up. The advancements made at CERN could lead to groundbreaking discoveries in fields like quantum computing, material science, and medicine. However, they also carry the potential for unintended consequences, both in terms of the physical risks associated with the experiments themselves and the ethical implications of how the knowledge is applied. How do we ensure that the discoveries made at the LHC are used in ways that benefit humanity as a whole, rather than being exploited for profit, power, or destruction? And this brings us to the question of governance and regulation. The LHC is a worldwide endeavor, and its potential impact spans the globe. As such, it requires a level of global cooperation and accountability that has never been seen before. How do we ensure that countries with different values, priorities, and concerns work together to manage the risks and rewards of such powerful technology? The LHC is not just a scientific project, it's a global one. Furthermore, its repercussions go far beyond the walls of CERN. Decisions made here could affect the future of our planet, our understanding of reality, and the course of human history itself. The importance of transparency, ethical oversight, and global cooperation cannot be overstated. We must engage in open and honest discussions about the potential risks and benefits of the LHC's experiments. The scientific community, policymakers, and the public must work together to ensure that the pursuit of knowledge is balanced with the duty to protect our world and future generations. As we push the boundaries of what is possible, we must also take responsibility for the potential consequences, both the known and the unknown. And then there's the environmental impact. The LHC's immense energy requirements and its role in the consumption of global resources highlight the need for sustainability in science. The pursuit of knowledge should not come at the expense of our planet's well-being. The scientific community must strive to minimize its ecological footprint and ensure that future generations inherit a world that can sustain their own discoveries and innovations. This balancing act between progress and preservation is a delicate one, but it is essential if we are to move forward responsibly. As we look to the future, the LHC stands as a testament to humanity's unyielding desire to explore, understand, and innovate. But with this incredible tool comes an equally incredible responsibility. The search for the unknown is exciting, and dangerous. It is a journey that requires humility, caution, and foresight. As we unlock the secrets of the universe, we must remain vigilant, ever mindful of the risks and the profound ethical questions that accompany such powerful knowledge. In the end, the Large Hadron Collider is more than just a scientific instrument. It is a reflection of our collective aspirations and anxieties. It is a reminder that while knowledge has the power to transform our world, it also carries with it the potential to reshape our very existence in ways we may not yet fully understand. As we continue to push forward in our search for answers, we must do so with a deep sense of responsibility, ensuring that the discoveries we make serve to benefit all of humanity, not just a few. Thank you. This responsibility is not limited to scientists alone. It extends to educators, communicators, governments, and each of us as global citizens. The public must be engaged, not just informed, so that decisions about the direction of scientific exploration are made with collective awareness, not behind closed doors. Science thrives best in the light of transparency, where dialogue replaces secrecy and inclusion replaces elitism. Moreover, the role of ethics in science must evolve alongside our technological capabilities. Ethical review boards and regulatory frameworks need to be dynamic, interdisciplinary, and globally coordinated. No single nation or institution should hold unchecked authority over discoveries that could alter the fate of humanity. Just as the LHC is a collaborative effort of nations, so too must be the safeguards that surround its use. As we ponder what lies beyond the Higgs boson, dark matter, supersymmetry, extra dimensions, we must also ask, what lies beyond responsibility? How do we prepare for a future shaped not just by what we can do, but by what we choose to do? Our greatest power as a species has never been the ability to build machines, but the ability to choose how we use them. 
The LHC is a mirror held up to humanity. It reflects our brilliance, our ambition, our fears, and our hopes. It reminds us that for every equation solved, a new ethical problem emerges. For every door opened by discovery, another door appears behind it, filled with uncertainties. But that is the nature of progress. It is not a straight path, but a winding road filled with wonder and caution. If we can navigate this road with both courage and care, the LHC may be remembered not only as a gateway to the universe's secrets, but as a turning point in how humanity learned to wield knowledge with wisdom. Let this be our legacy, not just what we discovered, but how we chose to respond.